life on the planet This one straight to a boy dick You better pray so it no connect Left by a shake and a fret And your P45 if you can it <laughs> Fire red and dead Me God I'm your host Elf and this is the hottest station on the planet environment. I'd like to introduce Captions of the yeah. yeah. <laughs> With Star Bindi, yeah. Rick Carvey, yeah. and Donald. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Nice. Nice for having us as well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Please tell the Firewood family a little, not a little bit, tell us how you, how your journey to becoming who you are today. As in, the crew. Well, it's a unique one, different still in a car. You know, I find out that all of us are lovers of music, you know what I mean? Even though we're self-independent, I find out that Dolan's caption that I come from, you know, we start in the optimum, we are company, but the one family as well, you can't be said. We are the music long term, and Dolan's have sung a kick-off for years now, so we find right in a this diaspora where the unity is not sufficient to just move forward in a oneness but at the same time it have ownership within it so you know captions optimum yeah. so, you know, so, so, so what brought you into the business? what brought you into the industry? you know Sam, um, music is like me, I'm involved in and um, a lot of people would say, but you know, I think it's, it's from a church. Yeah, I grew up in church, and I was singing at, at, at one one time. I was the player for the drum, yeah, for the church. So I have this music in me from my back. It's a bird thing. Yeah, we kind of try the same line with him as well. The church called Silent, that's what kind of introduced me to singing. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So growing up in the church, there was like that big interest because the church where I was was like a musical thing. Yeah. You got the chance to express yourself. So me so that I me just like gravitate to it straight away. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that was like what introduced me to music. Yeah. Basically, but obviously my father had that sound system, yeah. so that made it easier okay. as well because I used to play in records, stand up on record box. I didn't kill box and red track box. Catch the eye, catch the play the turntable, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? Did you sing then as well? Sorry? Did you sing then as well? You know, I should think so, you know, because you know, it's the first day we go to church, because I tell you what it was. We left from country, but left from town, the country. We live. And the first weekend, when we reach country, like it was like us, and, and like so during the week, and then the first Saturday, which is the Sabbath, yeah. is when we go church. Yeah. And that was uh, this first day we go to church. Me and the man, they must sing, and me, I'm going to sing too. Yeah. So, me and go present myself beside them. I know a bigger man, them, we are looking at you. Me and go present myself to them. Right side of them, and me, I sing with them. We don't know, you know, me know that song, but we just start singing. <laughs> Them ready and them said, Nico man I come come to me and call me up. Yeah. So it just start from this, I should say. Yeah, well, originally found from Waterhouse. Yeah. Musical community. Yeah. yeah. Musical background. Yeah. Yeah. Initially, me the only thing I'm going to be a big footballer, you see me? <laughs> but the struggle when I migrated come to England, you know, the struggle yeah. of England, the life, you know, you have to go to work. Immigration, you have to go to all type of things. So England, sometimes when you go to immigration situation, you make you be like in a space like an alien. So you have to remember about your roots, where you come from. You know what I mean? And then that's how the music propelled from me because remember, say where I live is next door to Jonah Reed. It's right there. You have King Tubbies. You have um. The Black Uru, Michael, Michael Rose, you know what I mean? So the music was always there, plus my uncle always influenced me in that music. So it was right when it manifested, I just claimed it and just put in the art grafting, the art working, um, studying the art until when the linkage make from about a couple of years ago, we were linking and make one umbrella. Confusion took place, but the music always keep us together. Yeah. So that's when 
the opportunity came now for we to have our own premises, to have our own place. It's just stay like that. And there's no confusion because even though like everyone will go places, there's a caption optimum. Yeah. You know, make a difference because we as individuals we know you yeah. can't say caption, you can't say optimum. Yeah. It's just recognition for no say we're going out there. So you could say dollar, you could say star baby, yeah. you could say caption, you could say optimum. <coughs> but it's still one. It, it, it's like the genealogical makeup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, was my, my was my production um it was like that was probably about 2000 about six five six mm. i did a, a lover's rap and a dancer song self-release yeah. so that would have been my first release yeah. from them times okay. yeah so i would say about um 2005 yeah, a song called Wine 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 Pan. Yeah, mm. yeah no, I also did a video for it. So it's on YouTube. You can go and check it out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. And, um, I've done a few, like, I've done some work for Otis Reading at yeah. second and some stuff, but officially, on the optimum production, as what Ricardo just mentioned. Just release the optimum, and that is underneath the optimum production, so that is there to download, to go and view. Yeah, self, self-titled EP. Yeah, you know what I mean. You just got me, my Marcus gave me, you know, self-reliance. Yeah, yeah. See what I mean. So we want to make sure self self-reliance is always there, it's always show. Yeah. You know what I mean. So whatever we are doing, the self-reliance has to be recognized. Yeah. You know what I mean. And start being the, the self-reliance. Mm-hmm. You know, start being the optimum. So. Um, Optimum would be my first official for me because that's come on me, my banner, our banner, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But I've done some for other people that is out there mm-hmm. and so forth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How did your family feel about your food choices? Well, me personally, it's mechanics, like, um, yeah, it's not an easy thing, to tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. But it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and music is a jealous thing. So you, 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 you always have to know for balance your priorities. And although music is a priority for us, you still have the time factor. I, I put the time in where the family matters, in that sort of sense. You will find little conflict and little argument because you know, when it comes to women, they want certain things done and if you can't compensate the music all the time for what you need to get done. So, but over the years, she see the progress for me individually that I've been making. She yeah. see the effort and she don't make it miserable. Otherwise, you understand, coming I mean, out like nothing determined from her music. Yeah. And she knows that and so she over the years she's understood that yeah. from from me in that sense, you know, don't make him do music because when do music we get the best all time, so to speak so yeah. to speak. So she just love me. So yeah. I, I wouldn't say the way I've known. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, 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 no, it's not smooth sailing all the while, no. but there's a certain level of understanding yeah. when it comes to her. You know what I mean? And as I said, we try to make the priority, make it a priority. I mean, I leave it behind. You know what I mean? Well, um, as you may say, no, start being the, I grew up a way different system. So you see the music, five feet, you know. Yeah, man, mm. back to feet, man, I'm not in a line, man, because. Now you open gonna grow with no father and grow with certain things. We grow in a struggle. We grow in a ghetto where a person not gonna tell you how good you are until yourself is proven. Mm-hmm. So we have to buckle that. And then we leave from Jamaica, come here. So young age, 16, we have to come and buckle again to make sure so you know your heritage and connected to your culture. So as I said to you, I always been training because I thought that would be the biggest football. But when I came here, immigration, mm-hmm. so them situation. But as a youth growing up, my three main things were always music, football, and business. Yeah. So I make sure I go to school, get my business, graduate, 
football knowledge and chain, and the music, that's what keep me lively. So my family understand that now, and when they see the actual propelling based on the determination, well, I get the encouragement from there, really. I don't really get no, you know what I mean? Because it's something that is being created from nothing. You know what I mean? So, you know, so, and I really get that. From recent, I just get mostly support. You know, say, actually, I do something with me. Actually, enjoy. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for me, when I say family, I have to, I have to talk about the whole food service. I have to fear anything. Mm. You understand? Um, I'm telling you that I, I grew up humble. Mm. And I would open my mouth. I was called a shy. Mm. So, um, by the time, by the time, they know that I'm a musician. I've already been a man. <laughs> so, so, this is that acceptable thing. When I met my missus, she met me as an artist. Mm. Yeah. A good artist. So, if you don't want good, <laughs> I can't change and do. Yeah. I can't do bad. I have to do good. Yeah. Yeah. So, she so loved the good. The yeah. kids love the good. And they motivate me. Yeah. And that was keeping me most of the time. So, oh. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who or what inspired you? Hmm? Who or what inspired you? Life, you know. I'm going to tell you what inspired me before. Put it into the music, as I said. Most of the time I have looked within the self and upbringing. And as we said, even when I grew up as a rebel, fully, I never have no father. So I realized that the music used to teach me. When I hear the wailing souls and I hear the music is what guided me. And my name is Binky. When I used to hear the, the Rasta man they must sing and I say Binky, I used to think that me, they must talk. So I have to. That's so naive. Yeah, me a think that me the matter. So me a walk in the line there. Bingy come my name. Bingy. That name is not. I say I name Bingy. The name was given to me. Because grandfather Bing, father is Bingy, uncle is Bingy. So the name was given to me. So within the name, I look for the inspiration. And because I realized that if my father was there, he could have given me the instruction I needed to, to move forward. But I had to get it through the music. Yeah. So I see the music to give the instruction that means that my son and my youth they can say, Yeah, yeah, me. Daddy didn't say this, you know. And daddy didn't say this. Mm. So the music is to build the youth them and the youth them who look for the music for the information. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But for me, still, my biggest inspiration for the music, I, I, it kind of resonates with what Bingy has said because. It's a life experience for me. As I said, we grew up, I, I do music, but when when I started like like say, oh, you know what, I like the, the music thing, I'm going to put myself as, a, as an artist. You know, you're still young my, mindset, but as I said, when you look at me, me grew up in a Kingston, certain way. And when you see the conditions that you were around, sometimes that's what I used to write about. Come my early writing was like, when we used to go up and sing, I'd be a garden sing, then used to call me, uh, you know what I mean? I said, come listen to the garden sing. Because that's what, that was what, I was, it was, I was always on that sort of vibe with the music, you understand? Because, as I said, it was all, that, all about that, you know what I mean? Start running your brother with gun, start, you know what I mean? Because that's what I, I used to see around me, you know what I mean? So that was, as I said, it's, it's a life experience that motivated and give us, give me the inspiration. Of course, you have like, artists that you look up to as well. You know what I mean? Artists where you love and you know you want to emulate them. You know what I mean? Someone like Luciana or Mr. Luciana company scene is like no, Luciana could do no wrong for me. Yeah. You understand? Then you have Garnet Silk, you know what I mean? The firebrand. And and that was uh, molding myself into the music. Yeah, I love the dance side, but the roots and the reality side of it that was like, you know what I mean, that was my thing. Yeah. Really and truly because as I said those they spoke about or they sang about yeah. life. You know what I mean? So yeah, that was my inspiration when I said basically and apart from a family and you know what I mean yeah. and friends. Uh, my one came from um, um growing up uh, um around in plays of instruments. Uh, most of my family plays everything. Okay. And the females are singers, um but growing up as a child I never knew I, I would even be an artist. 
I'm not in, I would be a preacher. You know, growing up in a Christian home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing up in a Christian home, I couldn't listen to dance or reggae, nothing. Yeah, yeah. Until I get exposed to IRS. Reggae in the morning. You know, nothing but. Um, some of this I, I can't even explain. Um, um, most of this is, um, I think it's spiritual for me. Yeah. It's a mystery. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it just, I don't know. Yeah. I can't, it, it's not at all, but I can't explain it. Yeah. Yeah. Why is music important to you? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't Life, you know, <laughs> music is a rhythm, you know. Yeah. A life, I move off a rhythm. Yeah. So you see, if I find the balance, I, I mean, say, you know what I mean, and music, I use, as I tell you, say, when I was going through the immigration and going through all of these things, the only thing was to remember my roots. Remember when me and my, my friends and used to do DJ Clash. Remember one time my uncle, my uncle is a big footballer in Jamaica, he's a, his daughter, Ikea, also a nice singer. He used to take me around Cape Town, take me around Bounty Killer. So, those are the things I remember. So the music, to me, you know, it take me out of that dead vibe where I came here young, food, food, nice, and immigration now. I make me a wonder. I can't travel, I can't do nothing. So the only thing I had to do is go back into my heritage until I wake up one morning and I realize I'm the years. See music. <laughs> and that only that. I remember when I was about eight or nine, I went up to Maroon Town, Mobile. I was listening to a mixtape and I listened to the mixtape. There was two used to Rasta man them a wheel in a warehouse, the wheeling souls, we used to a wheeling song. So I'm going to Mobile now, I'm here a mixtape with Cape Town and Sizzler. I say, yo, Rasta man can DJ to it different. So you know, you know what I mean? Cause they eat the bounty hunter, but now you hear the the culture upon certain the tempo. Dancer, yeah. So my members are you them have the, the, the DJ competition, but my, my football car, nobody can tell me I'm gonna be the biggest ball. Mm. But we can DJ and we are also we are selling guinea we are selling mango, we are doing thing. But they have a music competition and when them sing and they sang their song that we were singing, I may say, yo, may I be sang could I kill me, you know. <laughs> and then I say, hey, who sang that? And I say, yo, them I wonder how me do this them for me. They ain't an anger. But at the time, me don't know what's the biggest song that. But at that, me I say, and it's like a, a invite spirit say, yo, know worry yourself, man. You soon get the time. I'm a walk with that spirit there. So, when me there in England, how much years after, other find they come back to me and say, yo, remember you don't get the time. I know it up. Yeah. So I have to start Congo. Because I have to go in front of the people and I can't go as it is. Yeah. So I find out that I have to start lax and be a start girl. Wow. <laughs> so, real energy. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Why is music important? Yeah, you know, your, your music, it's a music. Music, as I said, what music is you, the feel not here. So that, that alone is an important, it, the, the statement is the statement so profound in that, you understand? Yeah. So living by that mantra, it, it's like me see the joy it brings, yeah. me see what it do, it's it, it, it just like a career person. Yeah. You elevate my career and you can share, you can help, you understand? And these were motivating factors yeah. and the importance. Yeah. I, I, as well as, as, as you know, mean saying what you want to say, be a voice for the people. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. me, <laughs> me was a sort of person. Yeah. When me I grew up, I'm in a mind community. Now I always find me about like eight, nine, ten little youth around me. That's the sort of influence I had. So me couldn't do no wrong. Cause me never want them to do no wrong. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Me up on the football field and anything go happen, and me them look for pacify. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. 
<laughs> so that was real, like, you understand, that, that part I know when I do the music, now me can't do straight. Yes. You understand? I have to know something yeah. different, a balance yeah. Yeah, with the music. Yeah, yeah because, sure. you know, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's an important yeah, thing. And I said, it's a voice for the people. Yeah. It, it, I hear the people, them. We yeah. know when we feel, when we feel down. Yeah. And we hear music, how it oh, makes yeah, we feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, with all them things considered yeah. and, and them factors, you know what I mean? Yeah. At the, the, the level of importance that for me with the music, you know what I mean? Well, for me, music is love, man. Music is my joy. Music is the healing of the soul, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, music is a spiritual substance, man, for your mind is stress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, music is a, a form of where you can express all the stress, the troubles, mm-hmm. and, and you're free. Mm-hmm. You're free. Mm-hmm. You know, so. <laughs> Overall. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. Yeah, man. The freedom of mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Do you believe in the most high? Huh? Do you believe in the most high? And yes. if so, how does it affect your work? But, but when I say the music was created to give reverence to the most high, you know. That's the purpose of the music, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you say if you believe in the most high, I'll question that. We don't want to ask that somebody else with it, they're not a room. You see me, I say, because you don't have a tick. Johnny Bow left or right. Yeah. 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 At this moment, we're fully confident because we realize that eh, we acknowledge mystic and we are seeing mystic. We see it happen. Mm-hmm. And we acknowledge that we see what happens. Yeah, we be able to see it unfold. Yeah. And do the right yeah, thing. We see it unfold. And I appreciate love it yeah. more, you know? Yeah. And I give you myself more and learn to be more humble. More humble now because we realize that eh, it's close now, it's close mark, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because people are reaching. Even as we said, the song Chilling and Pens, we just released Chilling and Pens, and we have work and hustle. And if I never feel the most, I couldn't have work. Mm-hmm. And the right liberty and mm-hmm. righteousness in other things. Is that everything that's Chilling happening said, at the right time, at the right moment? It's just, yeah. So we can't question it because yeah. you know, so there's a higher force, yeah, man. a guide. Oh, yeah, so and that's how we can't do straight. We have to know what we have to do because we don't want to give you a slap. Yeah, man. You understand? Yeah, understand. It's, it's one of them things, you know what I yeah, mean? So we have always, you know what I mean? A balance itself in yeah. that direction, you yeah, know what I mean? No, say, of course, look on the tree, yeah, in it, 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 the oxygen, the, the, the here where you breathe, everything is the most time. But so, yeah. Feel, man. Yeah. so yeah. there's no way we can go around that, you yeah, know what I mean? Yes, man. Leave the room. Leave the room. Leave the room. Where has your music taken you and where was the most memorable place for you? Where has the music taken us? Yeah. Well, as in where have you performed? Yeah, man. Where we go out and then music traveling in a car, Nesbeth, when Nesbeth did a tour and come on here with a big my dream. We are traveling Nesbeth, a tour with Nesbeth and Jonah kept them. That was a privilege to me. Mm-hmm. We go created um, captions. Then them come out to the EP, Wooten and gone, gone there a few times. That was nice as well. Went to Coronet. That was beautiful. But the best part of the music is where we are now. Yeah. Yeah. Already now, we have something that is all. And it's all we can go on and all on this. So it's probably now we can walk out bold and feel nice. So I write the same music I'll be right now. Yeah. But for me, it's still. Me being the elder statesman, if you want to that. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me, I carry that experience from y'all. Yeah. Basically. So, me travel quite a few places before me come so. yeah. In terms of the music, the stage performances. We travel with enough artists, Sizzler, Louis Culture. I've been on stage with all of them. Mm-hmm. When Sizzler was in breakout moment, and me and Sizzler up on the stage. You understand? Sizzler, he was the main person. Yeah. And I was the one that's gonna introduce him to the stage, basically. So I do my performance and then sees that come. Cause he, he, we, he used to have this like ends in a um, half a tree. Can't, uh, we, don't want to, we can't remember cause it's so long. But yeah, Lucian and Chan through that same ends. Mm. So that, they give me that sort of energy. 
Vegas is the same thing. Mr. Vegas. Me have Vegas. Me used to see them on a Vegas yard. Tasties. So all of the things, you know what I mean? And I think, for me personally, I think Tasties were kind of, but that's a true my life, um, my music thing, was my life. It, that was like my cement then, at the stamp. Because yeah. when I do um, Tasties, Vegas was on it as well. And I did an original song. And they gave, <laughs> they gave the person the best original. And it's caused a few eruptions in the crowd. Come on, I said, no, you forget the best original because the man sing a cowboy song on the stage and get a rich. <laughs> and get a best original, all of you do that. But that, that gave me such a feeling, such a jive, you know what I mean? Because you know what? Bully for people. Yeah. And then, as I said, I travel over here, so I mean, there's enough it's Leroy Gibbons. You know what I mean? Stay with Leroy Gibbons, the, over the Hackney, over what, what, Hackney, Hackney Empire, or what it's called. Some of them, them used to like, what's their name again? Damage. Yeah. You know that group? Yeah. yeah, I did like shows with them as well. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of them. One of them guys that were on there. What's it called? What? Before the X Factor. What's the one called before the X Factor? Top of the pop. But, yes, yeah. one of them. But one of them, he was a guy named Aston. Okay. Yeah, okay. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we all used to like be in a little circle. And then, as I said, but two of them are reggae, man, and they're all with R&B. But they used to say to me, you, you can't do R&B, man, you can't do this, you can't, you have to get the voice to do everything, man. But me embedded in a reggae and dance hall, you know what I mean? So, at some point, yeah. But, yeah, that was kind of like, as I said, to me, that's a stasis was my standout moment, to be honest. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, my musical history started in Jamaica, so yeah, I did a lot of shows like um, Teen Slash, Friday Arrows, Stonefest, Summer Season, um, I did a lot of school tours, um, so these shows were uh, like annuals, and my most memorable was um, Summer Season, Recrass, I think about 2010. And nine, some of the most memorable and Uta Nani is. Okay. Yeah. Uta Nani still was the one, to me, as, as, as I'm going to put it right there as well, because it was our thing. Yeah. And and you know, when you leave the stage and people run you down, you not a crowd. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You feel, you feel like, you know what I mean? You, you, reach, you reach to a level now. Yeah, yeah because yeah. it was a joy. It was a great experience. It was a joy, you know um, what I mean? Um, yeah. as, a, as a dancer artist, I get to express um, the, the reggae side. Yeah, the root side. The root side. Yeah. side like, yeah. and nine. The first, um, people were surprised because they know me as a dancer. And yeah. like that night, I don't see one dancer that night. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sure. surprise. Yeah. Yeah. The live bands, nice. I love live bands. Please tell us about any collaborations you've done or would like to do. You mean with different people? Yeah. Well, you are with me. All the, all the collaboration I've done so far is mostly like with Ricardo and yeah, Caption. Okay. You know what I mean? I've done that yet. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, we have one that's chopping my and work on this. But I'm sure I'm going to get to do more. But, you know, Who would you like to do? I want to get some female. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I don't no find the purest part of my voice yet. So I yeah. me, me still want to hear that melody to take me to the next level. Because yeah. I can't feel my vocal and grow what it means. To, we need to reach our next point. Mm-hmm. Some patient today, so I'm just wait. The arm on the melody, I'm just be able to captivate me. I'm just propel me, I'm just go. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I consider right now. But at the moment, I don't have no one specific to say, well, yeah, that person. But I have some good, if we could I get somebody like that one, like a Leela, a Jamaica, a Jamaica, a melody like that. I yeah. feel like that could have a soul melody there. Yeah. I feel like it could have been on that soul being you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I would like to do a chat with them, um, Crackers. Okay. Yeah, I would like to do it on that road because I know that would be a great one. For sure, yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that would be a great one. Well, my, my thing, them. No, we don't mind one to. If we cast that card, me and right now, I'm so, I might think that Lord never no, got some people. You ever think that? Is it? Car, it's as Stevie wonder. 
that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's ambitious. Yeah, yeah. 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 man. You're ambitious. Still yeah. one, yeah. yeah. There's none. Yeah. You can put above. Yeah. Put above Mali aside. Yeah. There's no one to me you can compare with yeah. Steve Wonder. He's a maestro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, then we're going to reggae then because, we, you know what I mean? But Luciano, you got my like. Alright. Um, even at the time, he was a junior read. Because I love junior reads. So he kind of make me, make, me, make me think like, you can't step. Yeah, I know rules are rules, you can't step. Yeah. Cause do not read a bus at you have a, a thing to him. Yeah. Mama firebrand thing when I love yes. from them time there. Yeah. So do not read you have the Luciano, like you have Capitan, you have the Bujo. Yeah. But them artists that may say, yeah, you know what I mean, I like. But obviously any colour is a colour because yeah. music scene, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And we've done these colours and we are doing some great works mm-hmm. between us at the moment. We have some, we have some stuff that come. I'm telling you, they're so far away. And right now, the first one I put out, we, 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 it wasn't even an expectation to say yes, though. But the way the people them uh, gravitate to it, we think thinking like, you know what I mean? More yeah. of this, more of this. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. What do you mind sharing with the current struggles you feel that an artist or a producer might find in the industry today? All right. Make me can start like for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't even. We do not say I'm not topic yet. I am man, cause I even talk about this all the while, man. Yeah, man. You have some producers and I respect artists. <laughs> you hear me, I say? And I them, and I, I, I thought, and and I'm telling you something. You, you need for you have, a, you have a certain level of professionalism. Yeah. But you need to adapt when you're in the business. Not for the man, them don't know that. So sometimes when you as an artist and them see like say he's a young artist and probably how well we all mm-hmm. and so to speak in, in, in layman's term. They feel like oh you come rare rare and you're, you're not this or you're not that this mother rare rare. But you now understand say you know, I saw the thing set from day one. So why not keep that same vibe? It's like there's a distance between producers and artists. A producer a send a rhythm come come here, and then expect your voice it and then voice they feel like I hate that. You understand? So I find out that sometimes the, the lack of professionalism a war hold us. You understand? And that's sometimes the main gross. And, and, and I find it more time in the reggae side where we need to be more business oriented because we're in an industry. It's construction industry, a shipping industry, all sort of industry. So when it comes to our industry, which is reggae, the reggae industry, why can't we always, from grassroots to way up at the top, do the same professionalism. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that's what we find out that we're lacking. And that's why sometimes most of even the, the artists that we have come through not being recognized because although the more them think professional, the people them around and the people them have to work with. Them now execute the professionalism, what I'm supposed to execute. And that I think are one of the biggest factors for me personally still. Yeah, well, some of them just realize that this music thing, when it, when it comes, when it, when it come, because they have a, a trust issue, a lot of them. When it comes to this music thing, it's a give and take. So a lot of these producers I need to know. I'm telling you, like, I'm not lashing anyone, but some of these producers is, is behaving and have an have excellent experience. Yeah. Like some of them go, um, um, go, they might get five years up. But if you really sit down and say, who is five years? Mm-hmm. Just because this man might do it every once in a get fired and lose it, he might get fired and they saw them. They might have this little trust issue with artists and they work with artists. Artists are going to do their own thing. Artists have to do their own thing. Especially being independent. You have to do the, you know, mm-hmm. you know, if you if you're the artist and the producer and not doing your own thing, mm-hmm. when time we come to shop, you use the one we're going to leave here. Yeah. Can't do nothing. Yeah. You have to give artists their chances. It's not everybody still the same way. You have to get your own experience. It might, it might not, not it might not that much for you. Yeah. It might be something you can handle. Okay. Yeah, so some of them being like, yeah, some of the problems and and, 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 and for, for being um, thinking of no probably being you might elaborate on it as well. 
there's too much money grabbing thing in the business as well. Yeah. Especially a young, a young independent um, artist are coming to everybody at the money, 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 money. If you go to four different type of people, four different people is gonna give you money argument. Yeah. And the know is a young artist are coming to. They, they know you have marketing, they know you have promotion, they know you have all different things to come to which uh, constitute money. But they still come with money. Yeah. Ten different people, if you have a link, ten different selectors, and ten different money you hear about. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So how do you grow as an artist? It never used to be like that in the, back in the days. You understand that so yeah, the music gets saturated and, and, and enough artists and all these things. But you know what I mean? You know you can know artists when you hear artists and see an artist. You know what I mean? And that might be real. If you're a real musician. Yeah. Yeah. Only if you're a real musician. 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 But the way that cast, we deal with it serious. And I have to remember say, Yeah, man, and, and a little bit of money. Yeah. Whole lot of money people talking about. Yeah, Millions. man. Whole lot of money. If you should say, if you should say, if you should yeah, say, if you should say, I'll convert that into a Jamaican currency, it will be millions. Yeah. And now we know, see, of course you have to invest. Yeah, you see. The business. But then the in, in investment, you have to, it's an extortionate. I've been talking about something. Yeah. 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 That word, invest. Mm. Invest. Mm. Put in your look back far. Mm. But when you really check it, what they're asking for, you still don't see where you're going to get back. That, mm. And that, that, that is where a lot of like artists club. lose it. Mm. Mm. By not thinking. Mm. It, it, it's called invest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to think of that word. So no matter, yeah, so sometimes no matter how you structure your thing and plan your thing and, and strategize your thing, you still have a come past the obstacles there. So you know what I mean? You still have a try, you know what I mean? And just a, a part of life, you know. Entrepreneurship now. Yeah. Especially if, as we said, even though we're independent, but we put a tag to it. Independent, but that's still captured. Independent, but that's still up to it. Mm-hmm. You see me I say, but so it has to be cost effective. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, you have to be aware of the, the, the business out there that I'm going to look for exploit. Yeah, man. Vulture, there's vulture. That's a vulture. Exploitation, not enough. True. Yeah. But, and I watch them different distilling of those ones and the work are also. I'm going to put in my own energy. And you notice, when the whole thing start, I know I'm going to taste that music and I'm going to go feed for money. Mm. The days I'm going to go feed to redeem the self esteem, to redeem. So the music to me is bigger than money. Mm. Me, I'm going to know if get my money. Because we've done educated in another sense eh, yeah. to know profit and loss. The music is a deeper passion. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a deeper passion. I love that jazz, it's a spiritual connection. Yeah. So we're not going to just give it away like that. So exploitation is there and it's obvious. There's lack of transparency. Yeah, 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 producers, you do as artists, you do work for them. And then if you weren't a company, you won't be able to notice. Because you as an artist you now, they take as an artist, but they don't take as a company. They're the beer, they must see the business side. They must see the business side, they take as an artist, so they say they exploit. But when they see the business side, they have to be able to approach a different, and that is what we're trying to establish now. What struggles have you faced as an artist or a producer? Okay. For me, I think it's self-struggle that for me. I don't I don't face a lot of struggles in music like that because I don't really walk down that struggle road. I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to do it myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm always trying to know how this is done. Mm-hmm. Do, done a lot of research. So I would say self-struggle more than yeah. like sometimes when I must make that move, I must tell myself, make that move mm-hmm. more than be laid back some of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, most of the time I try to do it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't see it as a struggle, I just see it as a motivation. No, I, I, mm-hmm. feel like, I feel like, do you feel that there's support out there? Do you feel like... Yeah, there's support out there. Yeah, we have yeah, support out there. Yeah, man. Lot of support is out there. Tell them that, man. We're not on a struggle. Tell them that, that. Only struggle we have right now is because we're so young in the business and we don't have the right capital surrounding, right investors them now to propel our thing because we're doing it. Yeah. But we're not seeing it as a struggle at the same time because gradually the most is in the midst. So it'll work. 
because the previous struggles we are not to have our own place mm -hmm. yeah. and our establishment, so we eradicate that. Mm -hmm. So now we have that now. So where we are at now is about marketing. Yeah. And, and as a marketing, you know, back in the days, Jimmy Cliff, them show you the marketing was a place and a badness, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a roughness, a road boy mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. But now it's a more diplomacy thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to have your investment. Yeah. And as we cap, 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 caption said, sometimes you push a thing out there and it don't come back around. Yeah. So you're just doing some people doing it for clout. Yeah. Yeah. So this is not a cloud chasing thing, so we're doing it the proper way, steadily just a move forward. You know? And mm -hmm. right now we have Wally my project and go and capture and the Wally my project put out there right now. And right now we are formulated. So right now at 21 we are looking for the struggle. It's not it's not there right now. Mm -hmm. Because we're getting support from everywhere, especially Dan Dada. We have a lot of people we are giving the support right now who recognize yeah, the, the real talent. Yeah, so yeah. even if Star being if you come and like say five, six years ago and time Star being you say, yo, I'm not a talent, you know. Mm -hmm. And a person accept it. Right now Star being you can't say I'm not a talent. Mm -hmm. Because the people must say Star being the yo, I hear that sound then. Mm -hmm. Star being the yo, Star being the right now. So we are getting the encouragement, mm -hmm. which are that alone. We need a search for the encouragement if you know what I'm Because I you no one to tell you say yo you're good at this or you're good at that. So when you search for something that you feel comfortable in and then you're gonna get support. No matter what else I go on, man, you just have to do what you need. Yeah. You know well I mean? it's me the struggle that make us stronger. Yeah. So me not see the struggle, me not see that struggle. Mm -hmm. yeah. The struggle will be right about and sing what. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it, 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 as I said, the struggle we appreciate that man. Not not come easy in a life. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Obstacle man can yeah. yeah. obstacle you know. Oh you look on it even on the training ground. Them set the coach set the obstacle course. And a person you see it and the coach come and say, yo, you have to do the obstacle course, you know. And some people see that your obstacle mm -hmm. can't bother them mm -hmm. thing, you know. Yeah. But when you do that, when match day come, if you put in the willingness within this obstacle, when match day arrive, and you are the fittest, mm -hmm. you are the skillest. Yeah. So these obstacles, if you face them with the right intention, mm -hmm. when right. we reach over right. here, so the right mentality, yeah. we reach over here, so realize that them thing that I just experience when I go wise, you know. Yeah. 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 If you could give advice to an aspiring artist or producer, what would it be? Unity. Unity. Yeah. Hard work and dedication. Yeah. 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 A sense of professionalism. As well, execute professionalism. Because when you when you execute professionalism, then you el eliminate the weight time wasters. Yeah, the people where the, the, there's a look on it to say, I'm gonna music. Because everybody wants the music. And yes, yeah, we have all of our voice and we all have work, work. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we want to bring to the people. Mm -hmm. But not all of us are blessed with music. King David, the real King David, and the King, King David was David, huh? And everybody there on King David is saying, You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. So there are people that we know, so well, yeah, that is what you are doing to do. Mm -hmm. Believe the man where my dream to do. You no, know, because you see that man. It is like a man, a thief, see, a thief. And if you like him, can be a thief too. You understand? Yeah. And he go out, and the first time he go out, he go get catched down. Yeah. Don't feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it alone. You understand? Yeah. So that's one of the music thing as well. But at the same time, we embrace and take you know the wheat and them call it the, the fruit and the wheat. I wouldn't call that thing again. That the like it shall grow till the day of harvest. Yeah. Something like that. Something like the wheat. Yeah. yeah. At some point, you know what yeah. I mean? You say who is real from who is not real. Yeah, man. Yeah. Naturally. You know what I mean? yeah. Naturally. Yeah, man. As the chapel said, about unity and just be true, truthful, not true to yourself, but true for others. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then for you the most time, that means everything I manifest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which other artists do you listen to? Me? I listen. Ma, Mr. Mighty White, right across the board, right across yeah. the board. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, because yeah. I tell you why it is. Yeah. You see, Music, yeah, you hear a lot, you hear a listen to a lot of and a lot of opera song, and you hear a little light night, and you sing a melody in your head. Yeah. Left you with a melody. You understand that something that you can resonate to and say, you know what I mean? You don't know where forward from, but you know what I mean? So, I always have an openness when it comes to the music. Yeah. You understand? Regular music, I listen to all artists. Young, old, 
you understand? Because everybody has something to say. Everybody yeah. has a melody to say. You understand? So we embrace it like that. You understand? Me know my favorite artist. I'm not gonna say I'm a favorite artist. If, if, if that one probably is my most influential for me as an artist. But me never say you're my favorite artist because there's too much artists that are really, really good. For you, because get up and go to him on my favorite yeah. art. Yeah. 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 My thing, them are more torn than me. More torn, like the temptation. Because I grew up on the temptation. <laughs> I grew up on the temptation. They sack them up. Yeah. Yeah, man. They sack them up. More torn than me. The very God. They were. And if I don't think about them, that's yes. what. It comes like the sweetest part of music. You know? Just them. Yeah. Them thing there. The sweetest part of music. Yeah, man. Them God. Really and truly, if I'm in a situation and my mind feels closed, as much as I don't look with it, I don't think about it from the first thing to go listen to a reggae song. I listen to Bob Marley or Barrington Lee. I go over the Motown side, mm. the jazz side, where my soul can clear the head. Mm. You see me, I say. <laughs> yeah, man, because Motown, Motown, and to me, for mention that as well, because I say, you know, the same thing, we go up to them type of era. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm up to tell them, still have the best set of music. Yeah, man, from, to them, some them. From the rock steady, the Motown, yeah, you know, all of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? But that means me personally still influenced by, yeah. you know what I mean? Embrace, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Ken Rogers, Dolly Parton. John Walton, them Yeah, John Walton. We call certain people names, like, uh, all right. Yeah. Without sounding too cliche, the first song missing on a sound system is a boy jazz song. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, come in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first time when I saw him this thing. Then time I was probably about 9, 10 years old. Yeah. And I saw him stream when I hit me, no, I hit me, but see, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I see him dance and reggae, man. I love hip hop. But I listen to every music in general. Yeah. Uh, because sometimes as artists you don't good to um, favorite arts and listen, listen and you find out you know, one day you, you might write in a song, you know, write in a melody and you don't do it subconsciously so remember all that melody. So for me I mostly listen to instrumentals. Yeah. I, 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 I listen to one instrumental all day. Yeah. You know, and I listen, I have to listen to Carb, then I have to listen to Starbeam. I have to listen to Figure. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to listen to you know, because I have to work on that music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> These are the music I'm listening right now. I'm listening to yeah. self reliance, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'm listening to trust, yeah. you know. I'm, re- I'm listening to work on us, and mm-hmm. I'm listening to travel lights. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. naturally. Have you been surprised by your response from the UK music lovers? Surprised? Yeah. I only really say surprise because the work ethic I put in, but I always say I feel appreciated. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not necessarily surprised because them, 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 them that look out for the work, I would give them self reliance and we done some work a few years back. They're looking out. So now that we have our own place now and work is propelling and work is putting through, it's a good, good feeling. You know, and Funny enough, today one of the DJ them said to me, say, Yo, start being gay. Yo, chilling and pet up one. Leave that car from Florida. Where, where? And I tell my man, I said, I must say, Yo, my office tell you. So it never surprised me. Yeah. You know, because you may get some response. Yeah. You know, I mean, I said, Yeah, but it give, me a, it give me a feeling, you know. Make you feel good for say, Yeah, they're on a journey. So now it's like, say, it's like them stick me up now, come here and say, Hold well, on. Chilling and paint, I'm going to come with something bigger now because you know what I mean? I get the right energy there. So, you make me feel involved. Mm. Yeah, I feel involved. I feel like we're right in there. Yeah, like we're right there. You know what I mean? Well, it's, well, well, it's a joy and I, and, I, and I love the, the reception so far because yeah. I'm a dancer and I'm a, and also the roots, reggae, and, and people accept me both sides. Yeah. And I love the music and a lot of encouragement from, from, from both sides and from both. Yeah. You know, so it's a joy yeah. and motivation mostly. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I feel like, for me, I know, like, personally, still, like, England in itself is not, like, you know, say, a dancer, a dancer from back in the days. 
Yeah. It was mainly like the lovers rock, I wouldn't call it. Is that the lovers rock, yeah? yeah? So you had like the Maxi Priest, the Janet Kays, uh, you know what I mean? So to know like know like it reached to a point now when I said that even the dance and now I know you know from ever since people always like, embrace the, the dance and regular but in, in terms of the country in itself it's always embedded around that sort of music, you know what I mean? So for knows like for we now for knows that then we have create that niche in the business or uh, in the in industry so to speak. And things are accepted, get accepted, a greater feeling, a greater joy. Because people are reaching up to you. Yeah. You're getting codes on your phone. Oh, I'm gonna sooner wanna do not. Mad enough. It's a good feeling. This morning, this morning, the first message I woke up to on my phone, he's one of the, one of the biggest producers. Not say, he, I was gonna say one of the biggest producers, but he's working on some big thing. And he, he's one, he was one of the ones that sent me a message this morning. That song that you lot did is just different. So that started my morning, really positive. My feeling, my God, do that for God, bing it. You know what I mean? We just share the joy because yeah. you know there's a sense of appreciation yeah. Yeah. in really what we're doing. Yeah. So big girls that say, "Can't be do that over time, you know." <laughs> <laughs> so we just work with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we work yeah. with it because we know there's a sense of appreciation from that as well. You know? Sure. What have you got currently in the pipeline? What have you got coming up? All the thing then you know, right now in the pipeline is about strategy. You know what I mean? Because captions, we have to champion the other set, just finish, just release the optimum EP. I got some singles coming from Jamaica, I'm gonna do some work with Dina Zia record and the Jimmy Cliff them song. So I do some work there plus captions. A whole heap of work I come through from caption there. Um, we have to through, supposed to do the tram line. However, next week I'm come to whatever the name is. The You know what I mean? Yeah, so currently a whole heap of things did it right now. It's about, as we was discussing earlier, the, the, the exploit, facing the exploitation now. Because we have to go on the marketing side of the thing now. And remember, we are independent, so to speak. So everything is cast in us now. So right now it's about promotion. I'm getting the thing out there right now. I made a contact this morning, so soon we're gonna get a link to the newspaper there. We call the family get a, a press release. So there's a lot of things going on, but it's just about thinking strategically what to push forward. So at the moment we don't really want to, we're doing singles with one and few producers, but we want to put out our thing now. In our in now. So once that is done. It's gonna be mostly peer caption because there's a lot of instruments that Dolan's have sit down right there yeah, waiting yeah, yeah. to be delivered. Dolan's top producer. You know what I mean? I'm telling you. Yeah. yeah, this is not because he's there, yeah. he knows that. He yeah. has yeah. 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 He's a top producer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, just, yeah, he just recognized whole artists. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And most of them, yeah. yeah. And that is where we want to answer. We want to highlight that side. Yeah. For me personally, I work with other producers as well. Yeah. You understand? Mm. But at the same time, we know where the energy lies. You understand? Yeah. We are trying to rise our team yeah. in that sort of sense. So, from the pipeline perspective, yeah. that is where we are. Because we've got a lot of stuff yeah. that we've recorded and then just, yeah. we're just sitting just to be finalized yeah. and just let out. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, that, yeah, that's where we are. Yeah. Roots, reggae, yeah. dancehall. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, we don't call it um, fused music, we don't want fused music with different, different songs. So we, are, we have a unique song as well. And that's what we want to try and do as well. When you hear that song, you know it's that come from the optimum production side. You understand? You know it's that come from the caption side. You just have that song to it. You know what I mean? So that's what we want to master it. Everyone has their song. And that's why I'm trying to have yeah, as, as an identity. You know the thing. So when you say pipeline, that's what we are doing. Be selective with, 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 with releases, you know what I mean? And, and, and get the ones that we know, so yeah, you know what I mean? Build from what we have at the moment, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, com- I'm currently I'm stockpiling music at the moment, you know, working on production and starting to get out of here. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, to do an EP. Still, because I should do it from years ago, but 
every day I do a song, I realize my capabilities are enhanced. So I can't, I can't, I can't compare a EP from the past three years I've been talking about EP and I have a lot of songs. But every day I'm just getting better and I say, no, I can't use this again. You know, everything is enhancing. So I'm in growing process and learning process at this moment. So I'm just working on that. I just want to write because that's the EP, the um, big drop of EP and make a good response from the EP. It's on the right that you can try that trajectory and then from this up, you know what I mean? Yeah. In terms of projects, you know what I mean? Yeah. You have to have any type of projects going out, EP projects, you know what I mean? Yeah. You do sure. singles, you have to have EP projects because that's what, it's going to get you the shows. Yeah. People will need to hear about your works yeah. coming from the artist, you know what I mean? But they look at him and take him serious and say, okay, you know, I'm going to but. Well, me and EP, EP different, you know, you understand? Because we see what's happened to start being this EP. See what people are, uh, are gravitate to it. Because they hear our body of songs, like, okay, oh, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a problem. Okay. Well, how would you think, how has the current times affected your work? Musically? Yeah. yeah. You know, so it just, it, it has to just go, go stronger. Because if, if you got time on your hands, mm-hmm. or even like when it's more stricter than that, you had time on it. So even for, we even didn't have time, there's a lot of work that we did. But we just yeah. had the premises as well, don't we? Yeah, because as we say, funny enough, you know, uh, when this thing happened, uh, when this thing started, we didn't have the places yet. So when this thing came into effect, that's when the place came. Yeah. So even though we're going through that pandemic, we just started a new journey. Yeah. So the new journey we know is going to take time. Yeah. So this pandemic, it has its negative and bad, but in fact, it actually give us the in-house time yeah. to build ourselves. Yeah. Build ourselves, that's when it releases up. Yeah, structure, structural adjustment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it gave us that we build the structure now and preparing for when it releases. We're just ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we'll probably get more works in that sort yeah, of sense. Sure. You know, we'll probably make more, but we, have, we appreciate what it is because not everybody can sit right now as we are. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Because we see how it's affected a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? And we, and we have to, you know what I mean? Resonate to that as well in that sort of sense. You know what I mean? Like, we, have, we, have, we have consciously know that. It's affecting lives, families, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. we have to know that we're in a search for the world, but at the same time, still has to be positive. Still, yeah. Life still goes on, yeah. you know what I mean? So we have to know that, like that, then yeah, we music have to eat the sick, we music have to, you know what I mean? Strength the weak, you know what I mean? So in that sort of sense, so it's giving us that sort of impetus, then, so to speak, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. When, it, uh, when it took away our performances from us, but you see where things are not virtually, so we have to just take the time out and, and learn to ma- manipulate the online stuff right now because it's still going on. Yeah. Right. How do you do that Zoom? Zoom? <laughs> <laughs> something new, no? See, it's just something new and I think, I think maybe it's a setting up of some system, some big system but I like more clarity and more... I don't know, but... For me, like, the Zoom thing is... It kind of take away the, 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 um, the essence of the, yeah, the, 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 the public. Me, yeah. the, 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 the public. And then the, the word Zoom come like, and I read it, the right word as well. Because yeah. Zoom, when you're yeah. 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 so so it, it's still an opportunity for get your yeah. music out there. Yeah. But I suppose we have it for a long time still. Because yeah. we always are doing things online. You know, we are the, the Facebook Live. And, so it's not really different from us doing the, you know what I mean, the, as, as what's really happening. Yeah. Yeah. So but at the same rules. time, we know several more, yeah. yeah. So that's what's a- actually happening. We still have to, you know what I mean, have to get the music out there the same way. But I yeah. appreciate any little thing, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, we appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't want to be to keep the new musician connected to the audience. Yes. Yeah. You exactly, know what I mean? So exactly. in a time like now, if it was, for example, everything was open up, then you would have said, no, I'm going to have an opportunity. Yeah. But because there's no other way. Yeah. You know, you have to appreciate that they could be there. No, but yeah. as we Chapo said, you have to format it the right way. Else you'll be projecting. Like yeah. the last time we were there projecting, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, yes, I've done a great delivery. Yeah. But my friend called me and said, yo, I wasn't even hearing. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. 
So I'm really a screen show, yeah. right? So. But you see some people do it, they see come through because they're properly equipped. Yeah. yeah okay. And you see, you can get free, take it in, and, you know what I mean? So in other sense, they have the class them, but at, at the same time, the opportunity was created. So even though it never come through, we still done it, we still could get the visual, and we still can say, yeah, we done it during that time. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then other opportunity came, like, same later again. Alison. Alison. Mm-hmm. We will perform dancing clear. Yeah, yeah. You know, so Alison we have to kinda of like lift her hand to her still because she's yeah. She as 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 an individual, she believes in our stuff. Yeah. The show will enough love. Yeah. She's she's a she's, she's a my phenomenon. She's my like, you know you know I'm one of the mother who make sure you go to school, yeah, 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 yeah. church, yeah, exactly. And yeah. when Christmas comes, you get yeah. your ties yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, you know, just a mother and a child, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How can the Firewood family keep getting in contact with you? Firewood, yeah. How can we? How can the listeners get in contact with you? YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. As Dolans, yeah. Star Bingy, Rick Carby, yeah. any one of those platforms. Okay. Because yeah. we, are, we are on almost every platform. We try to be up to date. Yeah. And so if you Google, yeah. just Google. Yeah. There's a lot of information right there. Yeah. Right. You get that type of in Rick Carby in the Google search box, yeah. you'll see everything that's <laughs> up. Yeah. And do you have a website? Not yet. That's, that's in the making. Yeah. Okay. And I'm glad I asked that question as well because I need to get to that brother as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. to find out what I'm But yeah, you know that's a definite thing because social media crash, everything crash. Yeah. Website is still standing. So that's the very uh, an important thing. Yeah. So, uh, and we recognize that. So we have that in, in, in the um, yeah. getting, getting done at the moment. Please, please feel free to make a shout out to your well wishes. Yeah, man, I'm gonna say, yo, Celestia first. Fire! Celestia! Yeah, yeah, man, I'm gonna say, yo, big up fire red, same power, yeah, we don't know, say, yo, Star Bing, I represent fully. I will say, yo, caption, dual lands with carb, yeah, man, say, yo, big up on yourself, man, no, say, check out the EP, Optimum, not Aya, available everywhere. It's type of thing, Star Bing, one and only. Yeah. I'm unbreakable, yeah. Yeah. They just can't clap, get clap, 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 I'm unbreakable, clap. yeah. That's how I'm thinking them stones. Yeah. But yeah, we carved it to the world. I really said to all the people and well, show us love, appreciate what we're doing, give thanks from the heart. You know what I mean? Straight up. Because without you we're nothing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do it for you. So for all we'll see and we'll see and hear us in the future. No, you know what I mean? We always have a try and big mu- good music, good vibes, positive energy. Yeah. So yeah man, big, big things. Big, big yes, things. your boots and tighten your belt. What? Now is the time when you lead yourself. Now is the time when you need your help. What? Burn Babylon, we no need them. Well, true. Ash ball. Go and see the big up to every. All the fans them out there, I don't know. Yeah, man, represent full star being in all and skip shine optimum recovery. Full yeah, man, should be more blessed. Stay safe. Seek Ja, the Almighty. And love. Yeah, man. You know, Special you. mention to Fire Red. Yeah, Thanks for having us. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a pleasure. Yeah. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Fire yes, I'm red. Fire 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 red. Fire
competition people's place. They eat at them. Black place. You're a fire red, them are gone. Always want to pull you down. When them see your elevator for the ground, crab in a barrel are gone. Pull you down. When them see your elevator for the ground, them have a life that no one know have known. Them say top chop just to see your blood run. You want your elevator and that just soon. Fire red, you just know my name. Fire, oh, yeah, 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 Two the pound and the last, yeah. The nana love for one another. Are you red? Over the shilling and friends. Them bring bad mind from the ends. Two the pound and the last, yeah. Them a fight each other. Them say fire red eyes up, big bit and upset. The fire red. Don't trust them, let me fail you. Yeah. Half on the cross, let me nail you. Yeah. I see your dead still here. Yeah. Last night we have a dream, sir. Yeah. Don't trust them, let me fail yeah. you. Yeah. Why bring you down and the take her? Yeah. Uh. And they wait for your red now, is it? 